Good afternoon, everybody. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation and Chair of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19. Honorable Ministers here present, Permanent Secretaries, National Coordinator, Directors, Ladies and Gentlemen of the Press. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control yesterday announced 587 new confirmed COVID-19 cases in Nigeria, increasing the total tally to 17,735 cases. We have treated and discharged 5,967 persons and 469 persons have sadly been lost to the disease. We have said that the increasing numbers, number of cases should be a warning that the fatalities could be increasing too. But there are measures and strategies we can take to limit the fatality rate. The first is that since majority of fatalities are persons over 50 years of age or have pre-existing ailments like diabetes, cancer, hypertension, kidney disease, HIV, tuberculosis, etc., this group of citizens, which have been labeled the vulnerable citizens of COVID-19, can be specially protected. This protection begins with limiting, with them limiting, with them limiting their exposure to risks of COVID-19 infection by uh, opting to stay at home, except when there is an urgent need and dire need to go out. Also, by opting to wear a face mask or a face covering at any time they are outside the house or when inside the house with persons who may have been exposed. To observe all other non-pharmaceutical advisory, like frequent hand washing, social distancing, respiratory hygiene, sanitizer use, etc. I must emphasize that going to places where there can be a crowd, like a market, or also places of sports, places of entertainment, or places of worship, carries risk of increased exposure because you do not know who is standing next to you or who is standing in front of you or behind you. I also want to stress that being in a closed room or a closed environment increases the risk of exposure to infection in proportion to the number of people and the length of time spent in there with them. Because the likelihood of the presence of a person who is COVID positive increases with the number of people and also the risk of infection would increase with the time spent there, the time of exposure. All persons in the vulnerable group that I have just mentioned who test positive ought to go immediately to a treatment center immediately in their own best interest. Because a vulnerable person is not among those who should, be, who should risk staying at home because complications can arise more easily and more suddenly or at an odd hour of the day or night when there will be no immediate help available. Also, any person generally who tested positive and opted to stay home or elsewhere should move to a treatment center at the very earliest sign of fever or shortness of breath or any symptom. A delay can be fatal because the disease progression can be unpredictable, sudden, and faster than imagined. 
With these important measures, we could mitigate fatality rate as the number of cases increases. The novel coronavirus is still among us and is infecting people daily, including even prominent members of society, and many of them surprised and not knowing exactly how this infection came about. Till it goes away, whenever that is, we must take extreme precaution when going to public places. I also had the honor yesterday of joining His Excellency the President at the China-Africa Extraordinary Summit on Solidarity Against COVID-19 Pandemic, where the desirability of sharing knowledge from research and experience was emphasized as the PTF chairman has already reported. This is of value to us because China has considerable experience with this COVID-19 problem. Earlier yesterday, we also signed the bilateral agreement with the Demo Democratic Republic of Korea on cooperation in the area of public health and medical science, and the agreement is to start cooperation between both countries in the areas of exchanging experience in public health and health science and primary health care management, facilitating visits by scientists and exchanging information on research. On Monday, 15th of June, we inaugurated the Governing Council of the Pharmacies Council of Nigeria, where the Council was charged to focus aspects of the profession to meet up with the realities of today as COVID-19 pandemic has brought medicine security in Nigeria to the forefront. We have updated case management guidelines with reviewed changes like discharge criteria and medication used for the treatment of COVID cases. Our treatment centers will also be getting an advisory to test the applicability of a drug recently repurposed and announced as being effective for treatment of COVID-19. The engagement of states and support for them in management of COVID-19 in their centers will continue to increase with increased capacity building. The Ministry of Health will also be prioritizing the procurement of oxygen generators alongside ventilators because our experience so far shows that oxygen supplementation is in high demand and very helpful in treatment of COVID-19. Thank you all for your attention.